Hi BMW i3 users. If you have a problem with your heated seat like I do, uh, where it would stay on for about one minute and would uh, turn off and not be able to turn it back on until the car set off for a period of time, uh, you may have this problem. Uh, it turns out that uh, a lot of people have been having the similar problem. Uh, this is a uh, blog from my BMW i3 where one of the users actually took the chair apart and took a look at it and under investigation it looks like the temperature sensor within the heating pad uh, had some broken wires <clears throat> the broken wires were on not the heating element itself but to the thermistor which is the temperature control element um, that element uh, apparently is not that expensive and you can buy them on Amazon in this case a 10k ohm thermistor but with epoxy coated on the tip for about four dollars a piece in quantities of two. I went ahead and took it out and hooked it up to my ohm meter and sure enough it does work pretty well uh, by warming the thermistor up in my hand I could get it to drop from 10 to 11 k ohms down to eight or nine so definitely within the range of uh, warmness that you would see in your seat or body temperature uh, you see some changes in the resistor so I think the information that was shared on the blog is probably correct based on what I can tell so based on that information it looked like maybe it is possible to bypass the existing sensor in the seat instead of having to try to tear the whole seat apart which is pretty difficult to do and expensive if you have someone else do it. So here underneath the seat, once the seat's all the way up, there is a connector harness and the one you're looking for is the one on the left. It has three wires. The one the second to the left, it's a brown color connector, is actually for the top and it does not have a thermistor uh, or temperature sensor circuit. So go ahead and unplug that and if you look at it, there's three wires. One is uh, black there is a brown wire and then another one that's green with a purple stripe. It turns out the uh, black to the green purple stripe is the one where uh, the thermistor is connected and here you can see it was an open circuit on the ohm meter. However, my heating element actually was working uh, and had uh, power going through it so that does make sense. Uh, here is one of the problems I ran into. You need to be able to put the thermistor up underneath the uh, seat cover but above the foam so it will measure the temperature of the heating element uh, between you and the heating element. That's impossible to do to get it in there without some kind of a guide. So the plastic tube is a way to wiggle in between the foam cushion and the seat cover to make a path to put the thermistor wire in there uh, far enough in where it's actually under where you're sitting and then slowly pull out the tube and leave the wire in place. Uh, you can also, uh, on the side of the seat, I, I found it to be the loosest there and it was easiest to put it into that area. Take the uh, connector, the wires coming out of it, the green and the black, and strip some of the uh, insulation off of it and then connect the thermistor to it. Uh, I soldered it in place and then wrapped it with electrical tape and uh, everything seemed to be working correctly even though it was wired in with the existing broken uh, resistor. Plug it back in, check it out, and sure enough, turned on, everything worked fine without any errors. I've tested it for over 10 minutes and it seems to be controlling the seat okay, although I'm a little worried about where I put the sensor if there's a lag between the temperature and the feedback between the measurement. I may have to wait until the uh, weather gets a lot colder to check out how well it's actually working under those conditions. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck on fixing your seat heater before winter strikes.